वेलकम टू चाय चार विद लवीना यहाँ हम उठाते हैं आपके और हमारे मसले एंड टुडे इज चाय चार इज बीइंग होस्टेड बाय रोस्ट अ रेस्टोरेंट दैट सर्व्स ट्रेडिशनल ब्रिटिश क्विजीन मेड आउट ऑफ लोकल सीजनल प्रोटीन्स इट इज द हाईएस्ट ग्रोसिंग रेस्टोरेंट दैट सर्व्स ब्रिटिश फूड इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड नो वंडर दे ऑलरेडी हैव रेसिपी बुक right here so if you want to come to roast which is in the beautiful bara market in central london do take an appointment because out of 1200 seating they serve about 2700 people every single week so do come to roast and enjoy the joy chat today Scotland will be asked should Scotland be an independent country they could say yes and they could say no thanks whichever way the vote goes it will have a massive impact on the political map of UK and to discuss the Scottish referendum which is the talk of the country at the moment i have a fantastic panel here on my left here is this mina shay she is an actress lawyer and a member of the advisory board of yes campaign and obe as well uh, for the services to the asian community uh, here dr omkar sahota member of london assembly and on my right here is darren macky a member of conservative party and more so importantly for us today half welsh and half scottish <laughs> And uh, here I have Michelle Thompson. She is the managing director of Business for Scotland, as also a very acclaimed businesswoman in her own right. And I've read about her, <laughs> so I, I can say that with full confidence. <laughs> so we have our lovely starters here as well. But and we have a very hot. some topic to discuss so first question to you i think should scotland be an independent country yes scotland should be an independent country and the reason why i think scotland should be independent is since devolution in 1997 scotland has been on a tremendous journey and i think we are now journeying towards our final destination in many respects by taking control of all of the powers we need to be a normal independent country and then moving on to creating the great country that i know scotland can be to take our future into our own hands for yes and create a better society a fairer country and a more prosperous scotland okay dr sahota how would you respond to that well i would say that um, scotland is already independent in many ways it has its own legal system it has its own healthcare system it has its own uh, parliament mm -hmm. and the people of scotland we really need to do a analysis are they better off being part of the united kingdom or are they better off being on their own and they talked about equality fair society at the moment the risks are shared among 60 million people in the united kingdom yeah the scotland is on on its own it will have to share the risks right for equality on its own it is no longer can depend upon a bigger pool of citizens so i think the decision is for the people of scotland but if i was scottish and i had a vote i'd vote no in the coming campaign okay are you voting no in the coming campaign certainly no no certainly not i'm really? voting yes and i'll tell you why there's some misunderstandings about how much control scotland currently has around its environment there's a level of devolution but only 7% of the tax take to scotland currently accrues to scotland and that will rise to 15% next year manage these opportunities to scotland's benefit scotland wants to be independent and be the master of its own destiny what would you have done that if i was voting if i had a vote i, I would be voting no to be fair um don't get me wrong as a, as a welshman and part scotsman i do feel the pull yeah my heart strings say yes but then my mind and my brain takes over and i've got to echo what you said that there are immense risks 
and one thing, and I've followed this campaign very, very closely from London, and spoken to my friends across the border, family across the border, and one thing nobody has yet given me is the vision of what Scotland will look like post-independence. And there are far too many unanswered questions, and far too many, and I know you're going to cringe if I say currency union or economy, but you know, everything starts with the numbers. You know, we're all in business, we know it begins with your numbers. And there is no set, you know, when you go into the poll, you're not going to know what you're voting for. You know, you don't know whether you're going to get a fiscal union or not, whether you're going to get sterilisation, whether you're going to get union. We don't know, and that's the biggest risk. You talk about a fairer society. How do you build a fairer society when you can't control your own money? Okay, so you spoke about Scotland being rich, and he's saying that we don't even know where the economics of this whole thing stands. What I'm saying, Mavina, is Scotland is rich. Scotland is a very wealthy country. And if there's one indisputable position in this whole debate is that Scotland can be an independent country. David Cameron has confirmed that to be the case. The other leaders in Scotland have confirmed that to be the case. So the question isn't can we, it's should we. Now you raised the point about uncertainty. Um, of course people do require and are deserving of a level of certainty in every debate. I would start by saying there is no certainty with the current system because as it currently stands, Scotland in its default setup receives money from Westminster via a formula called the Barnet Formula. That is going to be subject to one of the cuts of which the Chancellor George Osborne is going to make £25 billion. Pounds of. Therefore, we don't know how much money we're going to have to guarantee the services we're currently giving to people in Scotland under the current system. The pound belongs to Scotland as much as it belongs to the rest of the United Kingdom. The Bank of England is a shared asset and we will of course be dividing assets and liabilities sensibly in the best interest of both constituent parts of the rest of the, of the United Kingdom. But we might I mean, also forget let, that this whole yeah. thing, yes I'm going to come to yeah. that, We are already and, and paying for it. And, and also the North Sea oil which everyone is, is, uh, is relying on would come to an end at some point in time. So I mean these questions and, and, and this is going to be an acrimonious divorce I would think when it comes no. to the table. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel so. But, 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 but yes, go on. No. Yeah. So, the Barnard Fall you refer to has served the Scotland very well. You get more money than any, anyone else. No, the, but we get nothing. less money Hang than on. we raise. Year last the year, the, the, the total Scottish economy is 152 billion pounds. Since the crisis of the Royal Bank of Scotland, the UK taxpayers have poured in 352 billion pounds to, to hold up Royal Bank of Scotland. Can I just ask hang, you why hang, you'd hang, want to retain hang, us if we're hang, such hang, a drain hang, on the rest hang, of the hang, United hang, Kingdom? Hang, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, and the bigger, the other, of course, thing is this: that we are, of course, better off together because. Scotland does have a lot, lot, lot to offer, and but it also offers it as a as a formation of the United Kingdom. You do better off, right? Now, who, who palmed you off, right? As you want to be, we will respect that will, but you must get the consequences of it also. You cannot say that because um, you own you own the pound, right? That the rest of fifty-five million pound must subsidise you in your now in you your way, about, does it? Maybe from from, well, no, from London you, point you, 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 know, you, you, you talked in your opening remarks about us being part of sixty million people. What I would say to you is this. Westminster government has promised a 2017 in-out referendum in terms of the European Union. We are part of 500 million people as part of the European Union, and that's a union we want to stay part of. But they say and you can't may not be a member of it. If Westminster, your, your members will Please let me finish my points. I will address all of your points. If Westminster gets its way, we'll be, we will sleepwalk our way out of um, the EU because, as a voting bloc of five million people, and we have 60 million across the UK. We can obviously, there'll obviously be a decision in relation to the European Union that may not be in the best interest of us and we cannot influence that vote. Therefore, it is key to us to remain part of the European Union, to seek our own independence and take our seat at the top table to speak on behalf of, of Scotland, which is something, it is a natural state of affairs for a nation and Scotland is a nation. Well, I, nobody would be able to agree more than me because I come from India and we have, and uh, this question, has affected me very much. I've just been to Edinburgh to cover the festivals. But um, but yes, Michelle, I would love to hear from you about the economics and why really, I really want to understand, is it just the economics?